you take the baby, the baby comes out, yeah. the baby's crying, yeah. you stop it crying, you show it some football, and if it doesn't come out with anything insightful... <laughs> That's a woman, that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got some salt and pepper pops. He's like, right, at what, at what point is, is the attacker <laughs> offside? You know them cars you get when you're a kid, they've got, like, yellow that you put your feet yeah, in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they can't parallel park them. <laughs> Knob off. Vice versa, if you're playing a bit of, like, you know, quick cricket in the garden, they play a lovely cover drive. You're like, right, you're a fella. Right, we're, we're adding a knob on you. If they say something funny, yeah. you can have a dick. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Warning, the following podcast contains extreme themes and language and is not suitable for all audiences. Hello and welcome to Dead Men Talking, a podcast with me, Rob Mulholland, and him, a fat cunt. Also with us is little not gay Tom. Let's pod! Let's pod, baby! How are you keeping? (laughs) Good. Good. (laughs) A typically enthusiastic, high-energy start from old Quinster. Uh, Christmas cakes are getting me. Quinster's pasties. How have we not done that before? (laughs) How have we not? How is it? We've been, how, how many episodes? We've done 200 episodes, and how have I only just thought of Quinster's pasties? So, sorry. You, Christmas geeks. I mean, it was staring you right there in the face it the whole really time. It really was. Wasn't it? The whole time. Every time you went for a Ginsters. <laughs> It's not that often for me, to be honest with you. Exactly. And that's why it took you so long to get yeah, well, Every time we saw you have a Ginsters. Yeah. So I don't eat Ginsters. I'm, you eat a lot of pasties, though. Um, not really. Not Not for a man from Preston. He eats yeah, a perfectly yeah, yeah. average amount of pasties. <laughs> is on, what, like, you get your five a day, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Pastries, that is. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Five peas. Yeah. <laughs> five pea a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, I start off with two uh, croissants. <laughs> And then that way... Because it's cultured. My, yeah, 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 yeah. Very European. Yeah. <laughs> That's how the French do yeah. it. You know how the French dip them in coffee? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he just does that with Nesquik. <laughs> do you know, by the way... Oh, uh, he hates milkshakes. Pan au chocolat is yeah. horrible. Never got it. Oh, I love a pan au chocolat. Oh, yeah, I'm a big fan of a pan au chocolat. One of my uh, favourite pastries, I would say, a pan au chocolat. It's one of my, probably my go-to. There you go. Why are you looking at me so confused? Because I don't know what this podcast is anymore. <laughs> I don't know it's what the fuck we're shame. doing. It's always the same. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, tell me about your pastry story. Yeah. I want you to see someone rape someone with a pan au chocolat. What? Get back on track. Why Get back you, on track. Why do you think I got into him? Well, I tell you what, if you are going to shag a pastry, a pan au chocolat is a really good choice. There's that cavity in the middle between the two chocolate things. Yeah. And when and we're the back two chocolate now. rods. And when you pull your knob out of it, it'll look like you bummed someone. We're back yeah, now. Yeah, now, we're which back. pastry is most likely to be a paedophile? Yeah, <laughs> we're back. Sausage roll, obviously. Uh, cheese twist, I think, probably. Shove that right up an ass. Um, yeah. <laughs> chocolate, so, chocolate eclair. I, yeah. uh, I'm super tired because I woke up at half six today yeah. to drive back from Scotland. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was in Scotland doing Scottish things. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like what? Like punching women. Dying in childbirth. <laughs> <laughs> Shooting up under a bridge. Thinking I want to be independent and then pussying out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Standard. Yeah. Uh, no, I was having a little holiday for yeah. a couple of days oh, up yeah. in a cabin in Scotland somewhere. <laughs> Loch Lomond. You made it sound so bleak. It, it was, but there's a hot tub. Yeah. <laughs> so imagine me. It was raining as well. I still yeah. went in. Yeah, well, that's yeah. It's yeah. nice at a hot tub. It's, it's really raining. nice. Yeah. Really nice. I that's thought... not a new thing you've invented. Like, <laughs> like tell you what's it's... nice: a hot tub when it's raining out. It, like, it's kind of the point. It's yeah, like... but what I did invent was having two cho- uh, uh, croissants in it as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just floating like a crust of pastry crumbs on the top mm. of this. Well, I imagine with you. I was enjoying hot... it. I was just yeah. sat there thinking, this is what it must feel like to be pasta. <laughs> Get some cream. I'm going to be a big carbonara. <laughs> like salt the water. Like I really like. I like the image of uh, you nowadays because obviously you've got a lot of uh, loose extra skin. I don't you, have a lot since of you loose... rapidly mm. lost uh, like you know six or seven tons. Uh, <laughs> you know, getting you down to a mere sixty-eight yeah. tons. Now, like, because there's so much loose skin, I imagine it all floats up to the top and then sort of <laughs> spreads out and just covers the entire, sort of seals it. Yeah, you it looks it, like a um, human lid. You know when, you know when gravy gets skin on it? <laughs> <laughs> it's like that. Your missus has to come in with a big spoon and just peel your back so she can get in. <laughs> I have helpers. <laughs> um, no, I, uh, I had a, a, an all right time. It's Scotland, isn't it? Still, Scotland's I, beautiful. I love Scotland. I still can't drink. And... Yeah. Um, 
I don't know what your first sort of Christmas was like not being able to drink. Oh, rubbish. It, f- fuck, it's hard. Yeah. This, this bit now is so hard. Nah, like that is very fair. Like the first year, uh, the first, yeah, the first year not drinking at Christmas sucked. I ended up in a huge row with my family because my sister got dead drunk and was being noxious and I was just on like such a short trigger already and yeah. like her being like, drunk annoying really fucking set me off yeah huge fucking row awful day it was horrible the whole time like building up around it as well then i gave up meat the year after that so then it's the it's the booze and meat festival so at christmas i'm just sort of there like (laughs) and the year after you gave up presents (laughs) (laughs) the year after that i gave up letting children sit on my knee it was awful i'll never give give that up no i know it's too much for joy exactly like it's a real uh, passion project yeah or maybe you could just sort of weed yourself off it slowly by having little midgets sit on your knees. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Christmas uh, is a great time to be a midget. It is, actually. It's probably yeah. the best time. Most, or is it the worst time? Because that's like, the most work. Most profitable. No, but that's though. what you want, isn't yeah, it, work yeah, as a midget? Yeah. If you're yeah. a midget actor as well, like, you know, like you, you, yeah. you're guaranteed over the, Christmas the, you've got work. The other 11 yeah. months of the year, it's either uh, working in the salt mines of fucking Charlie and the Chocolate Factory yeah. productions, isn't it? That's all you've got, yeah. It's all they can do. Well, they couldn't, never, work, you, you've never they couldn't s- work in an office. You've never There's s- no way they could type. <laughs> no, but they, they couldn't possibly. They've got chubby fingers. They couldn't, they couldn't get up to the thing to type. They couldn't get up to it. Tom gets up over there. Yeah, I, I mean, not a great example of someone using a computer. <laughs> all right, okay, okay, okay. So so, th- throwing it out there, throwing yeah. it out there, put your prejudice away. I don't have any. Right. I'm not the one with Stop. prejudice. Stop. When was the last time you saw a midget just working? Well, Rob doesn't work in an office. Yeah. No, 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 but just just working. So even just like being at like, I don't know, uh, car phone warehouse. Well, I, 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 there's a carvery near where I used to live and there was a midget who served in the carvery. Right. Are we, are and we... he had a big chef's hat. <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> I used to go to that carvery just, uh, I'll be he, honest, to laugh at the midget. Uh, I bet he looked like a foamy pint. <laughs> <laughs> really, Sorry, midget isn't the politically correct term, is it? Little person. Yeah. yeah. That, that I was going to say something so horrible. <laughs> that seems way more like patronising. Yeah. You oh, you're that's... a little person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd rather be called a midget than a little just person. Just like a person, but you're a bit little. Do like... you reckon that chef had a little tiny baby mouse under it? Running his head. <laughs> <laughs> Like a Russian dwarf hamster. <laughs> apparently, as well. Apparently, I don't know this, so it could be libel. But he uh, he got sacked for the stealing from there. That's what I heard. Oh. Wow. And he's like a famous guy in Warrington because he was the chef who works at the cavalry. So yeah, sure. So everyone knew that he was nicking. So yeah. I've not seen him work since. Well, just just under his hat, I just lifted so, it up. Yeah. yeah. Full roast joint. Just a single, no, no, a single, six peas. single roast potato. <laughs> so head. One carrot. No, to be fair to him, they like have, the they've got big heads. Yeah, that's so, true. So, get your, fa- get your yeah. midget facts right. No, sorry, yeah, you are correct. No, I like it's, it's mean, not the word. What do you mean? To be fair to them, they have got big heads. So they can fit a lot under the hat. That mean? No, because the hat... Yeah. <laughs> Having a small head and a big hat would mean you could fit more under the hat. If you have a large head in a large no, hat. No, no, because the hat is still the same volume regardless of how big no, your no, head is. because there's less head in the hat. That's what I'm saying. Uh, so, like, the head is filling less of the hat, so you have more hat no, space. No, 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 no. But if you have a small head. Technically, it shouldn't be about the size of the head. It should be the flatness of the... Why are we arguing <laughs> over how the head space, the ideal head space... What, you need, what you need of, is, like, a divot in your yeah, head. I, yeah, I agree. The ideal shape is a divot. Right, that is fine. Right, if you got dropped on your head as a kid, there you go, and landed on a football, so it just curved it round. There you go, perfectly. Your you've got roommate a head in like the hospital. Your roommate in the hospital would yeah, be perfect for stealing yeah, 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 things in his hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so right, basically, what you want is you, know, you want a midget, not a dwarf, because a dwarf is the one with the big head. So you want a midget with a divot head, like an egg cup. Yeah. That's who. That's who could steal the most stuff under their hat. Sort it. <laughs> <laughs> Another mystery solved. <laughs> We really should uh, change this into the educational section of yeah. iTunes. Yeah. Or science. Point. Science, baby. <laughs> Let's science. We should do some science experiments. That'd be really funny. No, we should not play with chemicals. We should. No. I used to uh, I used to have the anarchist cookbook when I was a kid. 
<laughs> All right. Did cool. you? Yeah, like we definitely got it. He's like every I think every like teenage lad has a pyromaniac face. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. We and like we were like rural scum as well. So like we'd go and like Oh, you were setting fire to things with red diesel. <laughs> <laughs> we'd, yeah, we'd like set, you know, we'd find an abandoned car now down by the river, we'd set that on fire. Like we'd yeah. go around like go down a field and like we used to play a game where we'd puncture a tennis ball and fill it with light Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Light yeah, it one. and then play football yeah. with it and it just sort of spray. Um, we used to have firework fights for a while. Yeah. A friend of mine, funnily enough, he mentioned that, uh, shout out to Christopher Harrison. Uh, a friend of mine set a firework off. Uh, it didn't, like, fucking go off. So he was really disappointed. He went, oh, I paid five quid for that and grabbed it and put it in his pocket <laughs> and left. <laughs> yeah. Did and, he go, did he, is that the end of no, it? No, no, no. It just didn't go off. But we were all like, oh. what are you doing? Uh, yeah, that is stupid. That is stupid, but like very disappointing story. Yeah, very oh, I'm disappointing. sorry. I'm sorry. Very an anti I'm sorry. Yeah. Let me tell it again. I assume the firework then went off, and now he's only got one leg. Hey, hey! good story, Freddie. Good yeah, story. And yeah. he works as a chef in a Toby Carvery. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's he's holed out his prosthetic leg. He's got a French stick down there. <laughs> <laughs> He works at a kebab shop. He's just spinning <laughs> round in the window. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, if you're going to start a story yeah. off the back of firework fights, yeah, and yeah, my yeah, friend yeah. once had yeah. a firework... I wanted I'm to lose a bollock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right. I'm expecting okay. something to blow up, not just he walked away with it safely in his pocket. It wasn't he's foolish, but got away with it. Yeah. yeah. Disappointing, you know. Mm, Make up a maiming. Yeah, well, I'm just tired. I can't be asked. <laughs> Good to know. No, Thanks I mean, for watching. I mean, uh, I mean, giving you a tail that you can hang your hat on. Like, right, I'm that is literally what we're doing. I'm here, not though, here for you. I'm I not mean, here for your fucking. You know, to drive this yeah, podcast. Yeah, yeah, you're not here to. Well, you are. You know, you are meant to be a bit. <laughs> yeah, you, know, like, you yeah, are yeah. meant to like, a bit drive this podcast. Yeah, you, and speaking of driving, <laughs> in fact, in fact sent, I, I take it back. Been uh, lured into a segue there, haven't you? Who has been driving his career into the ground this week? None other than Shaft. Joey Barton. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, he hasn't been, though. He hasn't been driving his career into the ground. He's been promoting a podcast. Yeah. Right. Every one of his controversial statements ends with, and if you don't like it, come debate me on my podcast. Hashtag my podcast. Well, I'm thinking crossover. Right. Get Joey Barton on. Uh huh. And a woman. Yeah. And a, that's going to be the problem. And a black guy and his brother. Right. Where are they all going to sit? <laughs> God, yeah. Yeah, we're going to need a bigger sofa. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Can't have the woman on the floor, can you? No. We'll, no. we'll just stick to the white man as usual. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Why Why Reg break the habit of 150 episodes, eh? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I. It, it's driven me insane. I better, if, if he does go out, I better hide the screwdriver. Yeah. Do you know what, as well, though, is I kind of understand where he's coming from in one sense, and that is that I His career's kind not of, going well. I kind of hate how they are taking football and purposely amalgamating men's and women's football. Like they're going, Oh, well, you know, that's the that's oh the first time since twenty nineteen that, you know, England have won. Of course I'm talking about the women's like like, like they group men's and women's achievements that's together. It's entirely not what he's talking about though, is it? Yeah, and I, I know it's not, but I don't like it when that happens. Like I don't like it when like England haven't won a major trophy since twenty twenty two. You know what I mean? Like yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like I don't like that. But uh I like it because it upsets Freddie. But what I'm not asked about at all is this idea that female commentators are inherently worse. Yeah, like the really annoying point about like who's made who's like, right, so like they've not played like the men's game at that level, it's like a different game. But pundit wise, most of the absolute fucking worst ones played at an incredibly high level. Yeah. Right? Michael and Owen won the Ballon d'Or. Exactly. Most boring man alive. Dog <laughs> shit. Like, you know. Speaking of Michael Owen being the most boring man alive. No, no, no. no we'll get to that in a second. Just fucking hell. Like, you can't just segue. You can't just introduce a I topic. I can do whatever and I want. And segue out I can of it segue. before we fucking start. I'm in fucking I'm, fat mom. I'm inceptioning. Fuck's I'm, sake. I'm segueing into segues. Could into you segue segues. into someone who knows how to do a fucking podcast? Oh, 
okay. be nice. Okay, why don't you segue your attitude into something a bit more friendly and cheerful? You can't. What, I'd move on to a different pod? <laughs> like, That'd be lovely. Yeah, uh, but I'd like. So, like, he's going on like that, like, you know, and all the worst, like, you know, they all played at a, a high level. And most of the people who are most insightful about football have never played it at all. Yeah. They've only played it down the park. Like, the journalists who are great and, like, yeah. are really insightful. Yeah. Most of them have never fucking played. That whole thing of, like, oh, you've got to have, like, played it. You don't, in order to, like, explain it and understand but, it. I understand. I, I watch loads of football. I have a reasonably good understanding of it for an amateur. I can talk about about it can't play for shit but also know? as well like, and you can't play for shit really can't, yeah but um like also as well like part of the reason that women aren't as good at football as men isn't because they don't understand what to do it's not their brain it's is not, the problem is it's it it's not them going i that the goal is yeah. that the oh i wish i'd used my brain to be six foot four yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah i really, really wish i'd had that idea when i was yeah. a kid Rats. but if you want to follow it to its conclusion and say well women haven't played at that high level so therefore they mm. can't commentate Robbie Savage can never commentate on the Champions League. Yeah, also, ever. like, how high a level were you playing at Joey Barton? <laughs> like, I'm sorry, you're hardly Ronaldinho, <laughs> are you? So, like, it was really funny. Opta were just fucking trolling him all day yeah. after this. Did you see? They just kept yeah. posting stats about his career, oh. how he'd had more yellow cards than games played in the Premier League, <laughs> <laughs> stuff like that. Yeah. He's just, like, absolutely rinsing him, showing him up for how shit he was. Yeah. He wasn't a good footballer. He was just a psycho. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the sort of player who... Nowadays, just wouldn't get. It was like anywhere. a snide Vinnie Jones. Like he didn't even have like the toughness. He was just like the ratty. Yeah, it was very like, ratty. It was like Bruno Fernandez without the skill. Yeah, uh, Lee Catamol. Oh, yeah, but like at least Lee Catamol had that like violent hard man thing where you like he's just a fucking psych. Where he's got that brimming violence that's quite yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah. Barton was all like niggly, snide, what? sneaky. <laughs> I'm allowed to say words that are near it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, but you know what I mean? He, he wasn't like cool with it. There was nothing like, you know, he wasn't like a fun player to watch in any way ever. No, I know. It's, it's, it's just like, what, what winds me up about it is like going after that market of stupid fucking morons. Yeah. Like, yeah, women are both, I don't like them. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't want to cultivate that market. Yeah, who'd go for an audience of stupid incels? <laughs> Yes, yeah, I like having I like having female commentators on. Some of them are really fit. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. Laura Woods is great. Oh, God, oh, she's amazing. Lovely. Oh, yeah, I'd like to fuck her insights. <laughs> I, I think he's got a point in that a lot of them are really shit, but also a, a lot, lot of the men are really shit. Yeah, yeah but he could have just gone if he'd have just tweeted, Karen Carney could shut the fuck up. I would have been like, yeah. Yes, Joey Barton. Yeah. yeah, I'd have been carrying him around the city on my shoulders. Congratulations. But Alex Scott is quite good. Emma Hayes is Alex good. Scott, yeah, good. there's nothing. There's honestly, there's zero correlation, and I'd love for there to be. I, as the biggest yeah. contrarian going, would fucking love for there to be a contrary, a, a, a correlation between how shit a commentator is and what's between the legs. But the genuinely ideal isn't... for you would be ethnicity. Oh, oh my oh, god! Oh, perfect. That'd be so good. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, and it'd be more on brand for the Barton family as well, wouldn't it? I mean, <laughs> too racist. <laughs> it really would. Oh, that whole thing. Whenever oh. he talks about that, it's like, shut up, Joey. Shut up. Yeah. He always goes on, oh, my brother's life got ruined because of a stupid mistake. Like, I think the guy who's dead's life got ruined. He called it a scrap as well, didn't a he? A scrap. It's, it's like, like, it was a racially motivated murder. He got to yeah. with an real. ice axe. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't. They, climbed, they tried to claim self-defense. Yeah. He was just wandering around with an yeah. ice axe. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I hope there's some ice to climb in this city centre. Yeah, yeah, I was just going to go from Ealing to uh, Kilimanjaro. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, it was unfortunate. We did Kilima. Yeah, yeah. That was what I did. Yeah. Yep. That's the level I'm operating at today. And if you don't like it, turn off. <laughs> don't tell them to turn off. <laughs> right? turn, right, They're going to think of that on their own. If you've right? turned off, turn back on. Turn back on. <laughs> don't turn. Sorry. Uh, in the time that you turned off and turned back on, I've decided to get better. So uh, <laughs> it's going to do the work. Yep. I'm just going to open this can of liquid cum. It doesn't taste like cum. It doesn't taste like cum. It doesn't taste like. And by drinking it, I will instantly be funny. Here. Ready for this? Yeah. Glug, 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 glug. It's like Popeye's spinach. Not that he But it makes him more gay. Like. <laughs> Popeye the gayler man. <laughs> he drinks it and goes, Bang. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what do you know? <laughs> I got, I got, I got. I got. <laughs> Gotta go and rescue me olive oil. <laughs> Paddle up, 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 up. 
I mean, this is the first time someone's mentioned Popeye and you've not been, you've not been compared to Bluto. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was happy being compared to Bluto. Bluto, a bear. <laughs> I think yeah. he did that. Strapping yeah. lad. Yeah. Strapping bloke. Yeah, yeah. Bluto. Uh, speaking of bears, um, Wait, are we done? On no, that? no, 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 we're not done. I'm just sort of mentioning this as a side note. Right, okay. Yeah, so as a side note. It's not a segue, it's a side note. When I was in Scotland uh, earlier today, um, I went to this place, this pub that was full of taxidermy. Uh-huh. Uh, couldn't drink, but whatever. Uh, and they had a stuffed bear in it. Not as big as you think. Tons of the type of bear, mate. Yeah, well, this particular type of bear wasn't as big as what I would assume all bears to be. Right. Kuala? But they're all... Uh, they're all different sizes, so I wouldn't assume... I know, assume but this bear... Yeah, quite small, small bear. Yeah. yeah, but I would assume but, some bears are small. But massive chef's hat. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you see, that, that liquid death worked perfectly. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was quite small. Like, it was it was just... It was probably up to Tom's chin. Yeah. And that's a fight that I'd love to see. What, Tom between... The, Tom and a baby bear. Tom and the littlest bear. Yeah. Mm. I mean, it's fucking adorable. Is the bear a woman or a man? <laughs> What's? I don't think it matters... It's a bear. No, no, no. He's 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 gonna sit with it and watch footy. Right. Yeah, depend, yeah. <laughs> I think the bear beat me in a fight, but I'd twat it at football. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think a bear has any concept of football. It's gonna constantly. Nah, be, if it is a woman. It's gonna be con- <laughs> <laughs> be easy to explain the offside rule to a bear. Am I right, lads? Am I right? <laughs> Um, yeah, I just, I, I can't wait to see how that Jerry Barton thing plays out. Well, I know exactly how it plays out. His podcast will get momentarily more popular with absolute spatters. I'll, and, like and it'll be shit because yeah. you've got Joey Barton on yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. What exactly. odds will you give me that within the next 12 months he appears on GB News? Oh, like he's already been on it, hasn't he? Yeah, he's been he's doing this. Right. Yeah, has he? Oh, oh, of course though. he has. That's the exact angle he's going for. He's done the classic thing of like desperate people whose careers are going to shit yeah. and just going, actually... I'm dead right wing now. Because a few years ago, do you remember when Joey Barton tried to reinvent himself as like this, uh, like sort of like uh, like intellectual, yeah. sort of like a working class hero intellectual? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. actually, I like Morrissey and Nietzsche, yeah. and, he's and like, I Shut wear the glasses. Fuck up, <laughs> yeah, you yeah, yeah, absolute dipshit. <laughs> I fucking hate him. He's such a knobhead. Do you remember that's, when he had a French accent? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Joey Barton. <laughs> That's exactly what you did at uni. No, no, but I, I like actually was just a weird nerd. All oh, right, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Like okay. you know, like there's a difference between being a weird nerd and like sort of putting it on to be like you know yeah, try and yeah, rehabilitate yeah. your image. Well, maybe you'll go through another like image. Like m- maybe you'll do what Will Franken did and pretend to be a woman for a bit. Oh, that'd be great. I'd we be... don't talk about that enough. Yeah, Josephine in Barton. Ne- in, in, would that be great. in that we've never spoken about it. And we've never mentioned mental. it on here. Yeah. Should we speak about it? Well, we are doing now. Who so, are you talking about? So there's a comedian called Will Franken, yeah. right? Um, uh, American, Canadian. One of them. One of North them. American. Yeah, 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 yeah. But definitely not Mexican. Um, that's Central America, so. It oh, be. so it is. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. Oh, so it yeah. is. <laughs> Why did you briefly turn into an Irish priest? I don't know. Oh, it's all the child fucking. That's what it is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, uh, really good comic, actually. Really sort of weird mm. and surreal, but very, very funny. And there's very few comics who can do that sort of humour, but to make it work in weekend clubs. And he just did, really. He was, yeah. he was very good. Um, also, a bit insane. Yeah. Um, Which will crop back up in this story. <laughs> So, so one day, um, uh, fucking Will decides, do you know what? I'm transgender. Uh, I am going to go by Sarah. Yes. And lived by Sarah. Lived by Sarah, gigged under Sarah. We Everyone turned was, up to gigs at Sarah. Everyone was like, sound, Sarah. Everyone cool. was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because cause the, co- the comedy circuit is very left wing. Yeah, yeah. And like, just generally like, and even the ones who are right wing are like, sound. You know, so, like with that sort of shit, like you know, people are just like whatever. No now most people are. It's yeah, exactly. Just, it's just dickheads that are. Yeah. yeah. Now Sarah gave it, I'd say about a year and a half. Half of maybe. our fans. <laughs> One very specific <laughs> fan, not into it. <laughs> Shout out! Thanks for your ten pound a month. <laughs> Sarah. Sarah gave it maybe a year and a half or something like that, would you say? Yeah, and it was like, that's it. It wasn't even like a couple of weeks testing the water. It was like, we were all just like, Sam, that's Sarah. We'd all moved on. No one gave a fuck. Yeah. It was like this thing that just didn't really make a ripple because everyone was just like, all right, and then, moved on. And then Sarah did a heel turn <laughs> and went back into Will yeah. and was like, yeah, so it turns out I was only doing that to get famous and be on Live at the Apollo and it didn't work. Yeah. <laughs> that was, And we were all like... 
What? Yeah, <laughs> it was fucking wild. There was like this blog post where it's like, aha, I'm not actually trans. And all you fools believed me. And all I had to do was live as a woman for a year and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Who looks stupid now? <laughs> and we were all like, what? <laughs> you did what? <laughs> so much, no one Why? Cared. No one gave a <laughs> fuck. <laughs> it didn't impact the career at all. There was no boost from it. There was no decline. There was just a consistent, oh, are you Sarah now? Are you sound? That was it. And then a year and a half later, Ta-da! <laughs> I I really love the idea that uh, that like he was he was with like a partner or whatever, and the partner was like, "So how long are you going to be Sarah Ford?" He was like, "Oh, within a month, yeah. everyone will have clocked on, and I'll be huge." Yeah. And then that month will turn into three months. He'd be like, "It's not long now. It's not long." Yeah. Then after a year and a half, he's like, "They're going to do live at the Apollo soon. They'll let yeah. me know. They'll let me know. They'll be booking soon." After yeah. a year and a half, he's like, "I'm gonna she at that point sort of." <laughs> 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 oh, that should be a rule. Uh, once you change your pronouns once. Yeah. You want to get one change? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like a Facebook name. Yeah, you get yeah. stuck with it for like three months if you're just dicking around yeah. too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, now nah, you're she now. <laughs> Soz will. <laughs> you're a girl. But like, what's mad with that story is uh, like, it was, you know, I think it's also like probably a bit more complicated than that. How about this for a rule as well? Uh, 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 so you can get a boob job on the NHS, uh -huh. but they won't take them out. Right. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. 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 Cause, Cause, that way it's like mm -hmm. we're not fucking about with this. Yeah. I think if he's got a partner as well, I think it'd been funny if she'd also got a gender river, gender change, and right. she'd become a bloke. Yeah. But she'd really liked it, yeah. and now he's gonna have a bloke. Yeah, gay. And that's gay. Yeah, you'd love that, wouldn't you? Because <laughs> you're gay. So anyway, what happened to? Cause... So like, I was like, I, I think it was like I've spoken to like some like uh, comics about this who like know them a bit better and like uh, know, know them a bit better. Well, I, would, I wasn't. I wasn't trying to use that progressively. It's just sometimes you say that about people. No, nope, she. Right. I know that. No, she a bit better. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, like they say that. Like it was more complicated than that, and there were also like because obviously, like you know, Will's mad. So you oh, know, mad as a box of frogs. So there was a thing where like they postulated that they that Will did want to be trans, but then sort of went ah, no, this is harder than I thought and sort of bailed out but then decided by bailing out just chucked every other trans person under the bus by going ah I was just fucking around yeah yeah so yeah. Like, I spoke to like a trans comedian about it who was like yeah I think they might have actually meant it uh, at the time but then to do that afterwards was like the fuck yeah yeah like, yeah like you know yeah. you're just making us all look like cunts and making it look like a thing that people just do for a laugh or to yeah. try and get on telly and basically implying that other people were doing that in their blog yeah and I basically just like threw all of them under the bus. Yeah. 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 Mm. And, you know, it's not like they're universally popular as it is. But it? there is. Did you see what was trending on uh, Twitter uh, yesterday? This better be at least a bit relevant. It is relevant. Uh, is it Freddy relevant or is it actually relevant? It's relevant, relevant. Right. Relevant. That's how relevant it is. So, it's what? just very, it's so relevant, I would just emphasize the beginning of the word relevant relevant it's that relevant just say what it is at this point yeah, jesus christ <laughs> uh killing myself is relevant to this conversation <laughs> oh let's carry on then <laughs> uh bl bloke in a wig was trending yesterday oh, after our cunt on the gag episode no 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 no, no. So, well, I, I, I do want to see this but it is very funny there's quite a few comments on the cunt episode where they're like does he know that we know that's a wig <laughs> it's like yes yes <laughs> He's called cunt. <laughs> you should you should see as well him without a wig. Yeah, weird. Yeah, yeah. It looks like uh, when Jay Goody got cancer. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Do you remember that first week we were like, Ugh. so um, unfortunately, uh, so that on the left is a Danny DeVito. Uh, no, it's a counselor right. who's getting absolutely pillared yeah. uh, because people are saying that it's a. Uh, bloke in a wig basically i think that's just an ugly woman is it not? no 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 that's that's if you keep going down and not look for the very first tweet yeah. you'll see more I mean, information we're, we're discussing you'll, it. you'll see more information yeah so oh, right. um just looks like your mom yeah so it's basically um it's a counselor <laughs> oh, okay now i've seen video it's that very... is a bloke in a wig yeah yeah sure right look the 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 the, the photo was uh, a lot more flattering than the video i would suggest i will say this mm -hmm. right okay that that was 
uh, previously before she transitioned. Mm -hmm. An incredibly ugly man. Yeah, you're working with a and, real bad and baseline. has thus transformed into an incredibly ugly woman. Well, she's actually transformed into someone who runs a local shop for local people, <laughs> by the looks of it. <laughs> but I would say this yeah. in the... Uh, uh, a Green Party candidate. Oh, Green Party, okay. Uh, well, yeah, it wasn't going to be UKIP, was it? <laughs> <laughs> BNP. <laughs> Trans rights are human rights, but stop the boats. <laughs> so, I would say this. There is no braver person in the world than a transgender ugly man yeah. in his yeah. 50s. Is this you coming out? No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> what you know how Russell Brand just like, yeah, yeah, got yeah, everyone yeah. ready for everything. Exactly. What I'm saying, what, what I think is brilliant when <laughs> fat, ugly, gay men... No, but what I'm saying is, <laughs> is when, like, if you get a bloke in his 50s yeah. that looks like that, yeah. that can never... Ever, no one dreams of looking like that woman. Well, like, yeah. you know what I mean, even even as a bloke, that's a two out of ten, you know. <laughs> and like, yeah. if you're transitioning from uh, male to female, you're normally dropping a couple of points anyway. There's a couple who like yeah, flourish yeah, yeah. and like, you know, they do a great job and like, actually, well done. Matt know? Rife would make a gorgeous woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And look, you, you see them sometimes where you're like, you know what? Actually, I bet you're better looking yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. That, Those that, are that exceptions. That one married at first say. sight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? I reckon. She, I reckon she looks better as a woman than she did as a bloke. Oh well, yeah, but I not mean, to Freddie because he's gay. <laughs> I thought the one that married at first sight. I looked and I was like, Christ. I mean, she looks mental, but she doesn't look like you don't. You don't walk past the door. Then going, again, I think I my think dick that, goes towards mental like a divining rod. So I, fucking <laughs> yes. I think I think that about anyone who's had loads of work done. Yeah, yeah. She just looks like a woman who's had loads of work done. Yeah, and she I doesn't think look like a man who's transitioned to a woman. Time, yeah, very few trans women look au naturel. <laughs> it depends when they start. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah. So the thing is, is everyone. That's goes, why we've got to get her to them exactly. early. That's why we've exactly. got to cut the knob off when they're eight. Exactly. Right? Yeah. This is all like oh, th every time Who are I see. We're mutilating children. No, we're making fitter adults. We're just, exactly. Yeah, we're just mutilated <laughs> ugly children. Yeah, exactly. Look, it can't get any worse. Yeah. Exactly. This is the thing is when it's like, oh, we're cutting off hormone therapy till they're yeah. 18. It's like the ship has left the dock. By yeah, yeah. By 18, they look like a fucking roofer. Yeah, you, yeah. Well, it is a fact that the quicker that you get in that yeah. gender reassignment shit, Early intervention. The, the the better it works out in yeah. terms of results. If you're if you're transphobic and you don't like trans people, right? You don't want to see them about. What you want is to get the children early so yeah. that they pass better yeah. so that you don't even notice that they're there. Yeah. So they can just go and win the, win the swimming competition without anyone even knowing. Uh, what, what we should be doing is, you know how Jewish people circumcise babies? Worried now. <laughs> that early. If a baby's like... Oh, right. Yeah, we get him out of the, the womb. And you and go, go, that is an ugly kid. That yeah. is an ugly lad. Right. We're not... But he'd make a fit woman. Right. We're not doing it just because they're ugly. You know, like that wasn't the, the what? bit. Yeah. Yeah, because like, they're going to be ugly. So what you want to oh, do... We're, we're on totally different No, we need, we need... You find a little baby that Here's what you do. Twinky. Right? Here's... Know, like, here's, this is a bit of feminine. Here's what you we'll do. Go, off. Yeah, we'll here's go near the tit. Here's what you do. You take... <laughs> you take the baby... The baby comes out. Yeah. The baby's crying. Yeah. You stop sorry, it. Mrs. Quinn. It's very fat and gay. You, you stop it crying. <laughs> you show it some football. And if it doesn't come out with anything insightful. <laughs> That's a woman, that. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah. He's got some salt and pepper pots. He's like, right. At what, at what point is, is the attacker offside? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But and you know that... You know that Cry every time there's a transitional phase. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll go through one. Point to the, point to the half space. <laughs> You know them cars you get when you're a kid that have got like yellow that you put your feet yeah, in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you can't parallel park them. <laughs> <laughs> Knob off. Gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If the baby's crying and you ask it what's wrong and it goes, you should know what's and wrong. And vice versa. <laughs> vice versa. If you're playing a bit of like, you know, quick cricket in the garden, they play a lovely cover drive. You'd be like, right, you're a fella. Right, we're, we're adding a knob on you. If they, say something, if they say something funny, yeah. you can have a dick. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, do you just want to watch the world burn? Is that what this yes. is? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So I know I think this is great. Yeah. Like, I'm all on board. Like younger and younger. Yeah. Like why are we waiting? But that that person right there, that, that yeah. Green Party candidate for Bromsgrove, yeah. is the most brave person. Like, that is the that is the most brave trans person there is. Yeah. Because 
the easy option there decided, is to just be a fellow. Exactly. Yeah. You have decided to live your truth knowing that you're going to look fucking dreadful. Yeah. And that is brave. Yeah, that is you genuine. are brave. There's no, there's but no... also, that's kind of what Joey Barton's doing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. He's living his truth, and he looks fucking stupid. I feel like, where the fuck are the queer eye guys? Right, this is when we need the queer eye in yeah. right now. We need a little little makeover. Because, look, we're not working with much, but I'm sure we must be able to polish this that, turd a little that bit. That wig's not doing out, is it? It's not helping loads. Go down and a like, bit, go down. Go down a bit more, let's see if we can find any more. Can pop her in a nice frock, uh, you know. Uh, yeah, that up. Oh, that's better with the dyed hair. It's a bit better. You think? Yeah. Better. It's the, it, the wig is doing a lot of work. I think, it? without being horrible, I think the more the more face that you can cover, yeah. the better this is. Hundred percent. Unfortunately, it's annoying going the other way. A, a beard well, would that, really I help. Mean, t- to be honest with you, that is like, you know, when you look at the before and after, Melissa Poulton. Yeah. I so, think if you look at her when. As a man, yeah. Looks like I think if someone butter. said that is a trans man, you would also go, yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's because because like female to male is dead easy, really easy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's an afternoon of work, isn't it? Yeah, hundred percent. It's a, yeah. it's a haircut. That, that person before they transition, that looks like if um, a cross between Jamie Hutchinson and Tony Carroll, <laughs> like together. It looks like someone who'd uh, set you a side quest in a Yakuza game. <laughs> Looks a bit like you should be sat in a window of a Chinese restaurant doing this. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, so like, yeah, fair, fair play to him, uh, giving it a go. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a lot in it. Yeah, just trying your best. Yeah, yeah, it's you know, uh, it's, it's never going to go that great. No, and that's why I think so brave, yeah. genuinely, because you're so ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Like, mm. like, and that's 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 it, isn't it? Yeah. Like, like, there's no bravery in beautiful people being beautiful in a different gender. That's not brave. Yeah. What's brave is ugly people being like, I want to be ugly and stand out more. I want to be even uglier <laughs> in a new division. You know, yeah. this is like someone who couldn't cut it's it in like, League One, so they moved to a no, Premier no, League club. It's <laughs> like when you know when a UFC fighter moves up a weight class, yeah, and they go, "Oh, that's I don't yes, know about this lad." Yeah. Very, so the difference is huge. Yeah, yeah, battering, poor thing. Well, there we go. Yeah, good to have confidence. <laughs> and, and I'm sure she's got a lot more after listening to this. We hope you're enjoying Dead Men Talking, and if you are. Why not become a Patreon? You can, tight bastard. You Give can, us three quid. You can sign up at patreon.com forward slash deadmentalkpod. And for that, you get an extra episode every single week. You get access to specials and you get to help support the podcast in a way that will make it a long term thing. Because yeah. without the Patreons, we couldn't afford to keep doing this. So. And uh, we're definitely going to get in a lot of trouble at some point. And uh, having like a built in audience that aren't going anywhere that are subscribing oh. really will protect us. Lawyers ain't cheap, bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, so look, if you are enjoying it, you can actually head over to patreon.com forward slash dead men talk pod right now and sign up for a seven day free trial. And for that, you'll get access to everything so you can check out if it's for you before paying. Yeah, um, don't go for a free membership, by the way. That's not the same thing. Free trial and then you get access to absolutely everything on the Patreon. And if you're just dead uh, skin or cheap, just try and watch everything in a week. Good luck. There's too much stuff. We hope you're enjoying this week's episode of Dead Men Talking. And as a special treat, here is a snippet of a previous Patreon-only episode. Is it gayer if they have a big, fat, throbbing cock yeah. or a tiny little nub? A little cock's <laughs> gayer, isn't it? It's gay. You've got a tiny little gay dick. Nah, if I'm going to have a dick, I want a big, fucking, proper dick. Come on. <laughs> I'm not fucking no little dick, bitch. I deserve better, mate. If I'm going to fuck a dick, I want a fucking dick. <laughs> Come on. I don't want your tiny little pathetic what would you, knob. What would you that rather is have? so gay. What? A micro penis is the gayest dick you can have what? What? by a mile. <laughs> if you've got a micro penis, I'm sorry to tell you, You're you gay. are gay. Yeah, yeah. If a micro... That is so gay because it's like... Ding, 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 <laughs> yeah. You little if fucking a... homo dick. If a micro penis could speak, it'd go, hey. hey. <laughs> yeah. I want one that's like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. What yeah. you looking at? I want a man like, 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 like real strong dick. I want, I, I want my dick to sound like John Coffey in Green Mile. <laughs> <laughs> I want my to sound like the big boss yeah. man for the WWF. I want to, I want a sucker traps dick, and I want it to go. You want some cornbread, Mister Jingle? <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, because you're not gay. <laughs> you, don't, you don't want it to be gay. And speaking of Michael Owen being the most boring person. <laughs> That's how you should do segues. Yeah. Like 20 minutes later. <laughs> On the emails yeah. that I sent you. Yeah. Not quite callbacks, but uh click on Apple. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. This is brilliant, this, yeah. isn't it? So this is um for those of you that don't know, Mark Lowen is a footballer and he's also sort of known as uh, was a footballer, was really good up until he was about twenty three. Yeah, he did his uh ACL did his, in a, did his, no, his hamstrings. 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 Just, yes. He lost a yard of pace and he was a pace merchant. But uh his goal at uh, the World Cup in nineteen ninety eight is one of the all time great England moments. I think yeah, it's an yeah, all time yeah. classic England yeah. moment, that goal. Skinning David Ayala. What like a ballon d'or. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He never, shouldn't have won that ballon d'or. No, he was dodgy. He's never scored more than twenty goals in a in a season. Yeah. Ever. I've, I, I hate the term overrated mm. when it comes to footballers, but he, I think he's the most overrated. It was footballer. his. It was the club achievements. It was the stuff they won uh, that won him. That. They won the treble. Yeah, 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 they won a dodgy treble. So not as bad as Mourinho's treble. That's the dodgiest oh, one, yeah. where he included the community <laughs> shield, so you can wind your fucking neck in on that. When he's walking around doing this, it's like put one of those down, fella. <laughs> and the other one's a league cup, so we'll do a half finger on that. <laughs> I never claim that treble. <laughs> so let's see what Mike Lowen has to say. <laughs> you know, everything was a challenge. I'd eat an apple in the, you know, watching the, the, the TV at night right. and the bin would be by the TV, you know, six metres away or whatever it was. And, well, I would just do it. I had the bravery to, to miss and for there to be a stain on the wallpaper and my mum to absolutely scream at me and send me upstairs. I wasn't cocky at all, but the next day I'd do the same and I'd be bump and it'd go right in the middle and my dad would give me a nod of approval and my mum would be seething but couldn't say anything because it went in um and that confidence that sort of daring yeah. that nod of <laughs> approval that i oh, i don't want to get bollocked by my by my mum here but oh god i'm desperate for a nod of it like a little <laughs> wink to say from my dad to say bloody hell you cocky little you know uh, and that's what i always yearned as a kid these sort of performance podcasts have got to yeah. fuck off. It's that's very honestly, Jake Humphreys, it's isn't it? It's massive Jake Humphreys energy. Honestly, oh. even his dad fucking hates him. Yeah. 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 What is that like? <laughs> I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he's he'd just, have to turn up to tell me. <laughs> <he'd> just, just... <laughs> yeah, for all we know, he really likes Rob. Yeah. No, <laughs> he just hates just... his sister. Yeah. <laughs> it could be anywhere from hatred to indifference to. I think it's just know. pure apathy. Yeah, it seems like, like it. Yeah, like, I'll be honest, his behaviour very much scans with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He's not, he thinks of you the yeah. way that you think of like Colchester. I don't think he thinks of me. <laughs> it, was, it would be my guess. Otherwise, he, thinks, he may have shown up. He thinks of you like Michael <laughs> Owen thinks of apples. <laughs> What Willing to throw constantly. them away. <laughs> like, well, my favourite part of this is the bit where he goes, my mum couldn't say anything because it went in. It's like, she could. Yeah, you don't do go, that. Don't do that. My favourite part of this is every once in a while, you'll get like a football player from like Ecuador mm. or something and it will be like, Jose Antonio Gindias grew up in the worst poverty ever and he didn't have shoes until he was 25 and he had to say... Yeah, like Nicholas his... Jackson. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Or like Luis Diaz, yeah. whose family have been got kidnapped, kidnapped like last fucking week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's yeah, like, yeah. yeah, I was willing to stain the wallpaper. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love when he talks about the bravery of it. I just had that bravery to miss. Exactly. <laughs> and there's, there's, in a high pressure situation. There's footballers who, like, from the age of three, like, woke up to work 14 hours on a landfill site, sifting through shit to yeah, find yeah, little yeah. fucking nuggets so they could afford the bus to the local fucking club. Mike Owen's dad was a footballer. Yeah. Like, yeah. And he's there going, well, oh, sometimes I'd I'd miss, but my dad would be like, oh, keep going. You at, know, least, at least you took the effort, son. Yeah, he's so fucking insane. He is the most, he's such a weird little gonk, Michael Owen. Yeah. Like, who was he People talking? People say I sound like him. <laughs> I get that quite a lot, that I sound like Michael Owen. I don't think I sound anything like him. You sound incredibly boring. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there's that, yeah. Mm. But like, it was Michael Owen talking about the other day. He was saying someone, uh, like, I, I wish I could remember specifically who it was. They were saying something about, oh, I don't think that's a good choice for their career if they make this move because, like, you know, uh, then, like, the fan base won't, uh, you know, won't like him anymore. It's like, do you not remember your career? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where you fucked off every fan. The only fans who actually liked you were Liverpool, so you moved to Man U to try and sit on the bench and win a trophy. Ma yeah. Michael Owen is probably the best player with the worst reputation. 
Yeah, because yeah, yeah. He's, he's no played, one he's, likes him. He's played for Liverpool, United, Real Madrid, yeah. Newcastle, Stoke, even England. Could, Everyone hates him. You could have left Stoke off that list. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. but, Stoke, but Stoke fans hate him yeah, because, because, he it went, because it went down. He yeah. refused to play. And he was just earning, he was just, uh, earning a shitload of money and phoning it yeah, in. Yeah, same yeah. as Newcastle. He... he, he, um, he he, he was he, flying he, in. He, yeah, he was flying in. He pretended to be injured because there was a World Cup coming up. He didn't want to get injured, mm. and they got relegated. Yeah. All fans hate him. Yeah, he's a dickhead. He's the worst. Yeah. I've always fucking hated Michael. Yeah. He's like, he's such a weird little gonk. He's like, he's only ever seen three films. Where's, where's this come from, gonk? It feels like a slur. Yeah, I hope it is. Yeah. It's, yeah. Just, it's just the slang words. Is it? Yeah, yeah okay. What does it mean? Google gonk. What do you mean? It just means like a little weird, nerdy sort of I've never heard spazzy gonk. little spanner. I've never heard gonk before, and I've heard you use it three times. I've used it loads. It's, yeah, it's always it's been a, a, it's, a regu- it's a regular in Rob's vocabulary. Yeah, it's, 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 a, it's always been a, yeah, it's always been part of my vocabulary. I should pay attention to you more. I should just listen, you big fat gay gonk. <laughs> <laughs> Freddie Quinn's a big fat, fat gonk, 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 big fat gonk, 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 big fat gonk. gonk. We all sing this fat gonk song. <laughs> Freddie Quinn is a big fat gonk. Um, yeah, he is a fucking weird guy. Like honestly, like just him talking is so hard to sit through. Oh, John Venables is trending on Twitter. No, it, right there. Yeah, I know. I, di- I didn't. That wasn't. I didn't believe you. That's not a good segue. It's Terry's son. <laughs> yeah. Well, the guy from the Chocolate Orange. Yes, yes. <laughs> Terry Venables invented the Chocolate Orange. Yeah, and his son was John Venables. Uh, also, is that why I always had a tan? <laughs> <laughs> also, I'm throwing it out. Uh, Terry's Chocolate Orange is one of the worst chocolates. Oh, you, you stupid! I agree. I, 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 I like one slice, yeah. but then I always have three slices, and I feel sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll happily scan, uh, like scrap half an orange and a go. I love a chocolate orange. Nah. I just, I don't like, uh, I don't like the new thin segments. Right, they've got a new bit now, but a, they've put air gaps in between the segments in order to have less orange Aren't material. They? Yeah, oh, shrinkflation. It's called. Done that, isn't it? They've done that, but the slices are thinner now, so you don't get the satisfying thick slices. Does it not mean that you can't break them open with your head like you used to? It's, it's easier to break them with anything. your head. Yeah, that's what I used to do. What yeah, that tables? Makes sense. I've got a big head. Yeah. Have you not got hard surfaces in your house? Yeah, my head or hands. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. No, if he wants to find a hard surface, he's got to go to his dark toilet cupboard. That's the only way. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only place I a flat saw surface. my house the other day. Someone came round to your house, saw your sad, bleak, lightless toilet cupboard, <laughs> and went, "This is the place for me." <laughs> they did, uh-huh. um, and I uh, closed the door of the, that toilet, so they might not have gone in. They might not even know. They might not even know. Oh, fantastic! <laughs> what a treat! <laughs> They've got the world's saddest toilet. Brilliant. They open the door and the toilet's just like, kill me. <laughs> um, yeah, I sold it for £202,000. Uh-huh. That's bought good. It. Just discuss your finances. How yeah. much is in your bank? Bought... <laughs> what's I'd... your what, pin code? What's your mortgage rate? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. What do you think that people are going to do knowing how much my house went for? What, what I'm not possible, saying they're going to do anything. It's just very gauche. Very gauche. Breach of data protection. What do you mean? Go- it's you a br- were bragging that your fucking girlfriend's mum and dad owned a fucking house with it a wood. It wasn't a what brag. What are you talking about, it's not gauche? A brag. It was. It was the very opposite of. I was uh, pointing out that I am uh, no working class hero and shouldn't be held up as such. So I was actually being very humble. <laughs> are you fucking messing me? No, I'm very Look how humble. proud you are to be humble. <laughs> exactly. Oh, look how humble I am. Is this, is this the face very, of humility? <laughs> very humble man. That's the thing about you me. You don't know All me bow down humble. to my humbleness. I am just the most humble man. <laughs> you are the opposite of humble in every single I'm way. I'm an incredibly humble man. I'm just a humble guy with a humble, massive dick. Yeah. Simple guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That would never like beg for attention or anything like that, no? I don't need anyway, it. Anyway, you've got a special coming out? Uh, yeah, it's out the Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very humble about it. Very humble about it. That's it's already I'm, been out by now. It's already been out by now, yeah. I've just been very humble about the special as well. Yeah, I've not yeah. really mentioned it for the last six months. <laughs> <laughs> That's why people are just finding out about it now. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'm very humble. And I will humbly say it's great. I'm very fucking <laughs> slow getting it out. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it took a while to get out, yeah. yeah. Uh, That's what happens when you work on things, ready. You know, you should try it sometime. Put some effort in. Like this humble guy. <laughs> in your humble... Oh, Bobby Humble. <laughs> in your humble opinion, how good is it? It's all right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's good. I'd say the same. I'd say it's all right as well. Yeah. It's good. It's just fine, isn't it? I think it well, looks great, and it's been edited very well. Yeah, Content. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I'm just yeah. a humble guy. I'm just a humble guy. I'm just humble. I don't care because I'm <laughs> humble. <laughs> it's very humble. I'll tell you who's not humble. Uh-huh. Me. 
I'm not humble. No, you're gay. <laughs> Being humble is gay. No. Nah. Being humble is gay. I would argue it is the exact opposite. Like you don't, you you rarely get a humble gay. You know, like they're, they're very much very proud. You know, that's their whole thing is pride, oh, yeah. which is oh, the opposite of God. humble. I would support. I would, argue I would support. Being them. humble is the straightest thing you can be. <laughs> I would. I Checkmate, would. Checkmate. I would. Big fat gay. I would support them much more if the parade was called humble. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, cheers, guys, thanks. Yeah, thanks yeah, yeah. Them. And they all just wore, don't miss it, doesn't They all just wore beige. <laughs> yeah. And they were like, it's honestly, I, I got a oh, lot I don't of even want to get married, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, no, yeah. honestly, no, honestly. Oh, honestly, no, just, just, just carry on, just carry on. Hey, yeah, it's yeah. all about you straight guys, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> don't even shut the road, it's fine. You just go around. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Being humble's not gay. Being humble is gay. It's not gay. It is. It's not gay. What have we got? Uh I got another thing that doesn't relate to anything. Um, Doesn't they all don't need to relate? It's all right. We can just move on to a different bit. Uh, Tom's looking at one bit on the. And uh-huh. I can see his eyes flashing I already because he doesn't want me to tell the story. What story? Oh, the top bit, the very important me. <laughs> so before this starts, no, 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 no. You are not. Do not allow him. I don't. I don't to, uh, n- disallowed. Do not allow. Disallowed. Him, do not allow him to taint yeah. this story. I like. Uh, I am going to tell the actual truth at the uh, end. Of ed- it. Editors, if Tom tries to uh, quantify this in any way, can you just turn his mic down? <laughs> but, but this, this is how this is how humble Tom is. All right. So, um, me and Tom were working on some stuff for a corporate brand, right? That were. Yeah, I know. I know. What's other? No, go on. What, what corporate brand was it? Uh, we're not allowed to say because I don't think we're going to do we're it. We're not going to do it. But we also were also we're working on some sketches. Yeah. Which yeah, we might yeah. do, which are very funny. Yeah. So, um, uh, w- w- I arranged to meet Tom in a coffee shop in Preston. Uh-huh. And it's a place that's usually quite quiet. Um, but we, when we went in today, uh, on this date, it was very busy. I got there first. It's very important. Tom, Tom no one's there, talking to you. Tom got there first. <laughs> this is important. Isn't it? Tom got there first <laughs> and asked if there was a table for two. Yeah. And there was not a table for two. And Tom said, well, I need a table <laughs> because I've got a very important meeting. And that's then, the bit oh, that's not true. And then that's, that is the bit that's true. And uh, there wasn't a table, but we sat by a window. Well, I got there. Freddie wasn't we there at this point. Tom, we we sat by a window. Please let us Freddie talk. We sat by we a window. Don't interrupt on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a very unhumble thing to interrupt. Um, so we sat by a window. You, you know when there's like a bench and you're all overlooking the window, but there's like four of you. Do you know what I mean? That that sort of configuration. We're looking out towards the window. We're looking out That's towards like the window. Stool in yeah. the window. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so me and Tom were writing sketches. And uh, one of the sketches, um, which one was it? Was it the... Oh, yes, of course. So Tom had an idea for a sketch. You, you can. Tom had an idea for a sketch called Tree Detective. <laughs> <laughs> I won you round with Tree Detective too, bum, bum, bum. I believe it is a willow, sir. <laughs> no, it is an oak. Were. See, they already are, great. They are already detectives great. that only look after <laughs> tree-related crimes. Right. And so, like, black people getting hung in that. <laughs> maybe, maybe. And... The um, uh, the rivals <laughs> to the tree detectives, you wouldn't guess in a million years, so I'm going to just tell you. Uh-huh. The rivals to the tree detectives are called the Gradient Police. <laughs> no, the Gradient Squad. The Gradient Squad. They only <laughs> investigate gradients. Tom, you know when you asked me if I wanted to do sketches and I said no, right? This is why. To be fair, I wouldn't really around with this when I explained the whole thing. This, so so my I, I looked at him in absolute fucking shock and horror yeah. as I said, when would these two ever have a, a case that fell under both jurisdictions? Well, a hilly a, a hilly wood. Yeah, exactly. Uh, a tree falls over, is it a gradient or is it a, a, a tree crime? <laughs> Do you hear this? It was at this point the barista <laughs> leant over and said is this the important meeting? <laughs> and I was like, what? 
And then he told me the story that Tom came in, had a little flap because he had a very important That's meeting. That's so funny. I'm going to tell you the exact thing. And, like they been. heard you talking about gradient polish. <laughs> <laughs> and tree detectors. If I was that barista, your next coffee would be so full of cum. <laughs> so, I'd be out in the back just fucking beating my knob. I'd be treating my dick like it owed me money in order to fucking upset you. <laughs> this is what actually happened. Right. I went in on my own. It was full. I said, is there any tables upstairs? He said, I have a very important meeting. No. And he said, no. He said, there's a table, there's a seat in the window. But there was only one at the time. And I said, oh, I'm meeting someone. That's all I said. I'm meeting someone. And then we did the sketches. So, so and very, the sketch ideas, a lot of people all around us were so laughing very a lot. Quickly, so very quickly. Very God, quickly. that sounds so awful. I can think of nothing worse than being in a coffee shop hearing two cunts discuss their sketch people ideas. People were trying to jump so, in. It was very annoying. Yeah, ask us to stop. No, um, they were asking us, they Tom, were giving us tips. Tom, very quickly, in your version of the story, why would the barista then lean over and say, is this your very important meeting? Because he either misheard or so, he wanted so to throw wait, me under the bus. So wait, wait, right. wait. So he misheard, I'm meeting someone. Yeah, yeah. And ask. he misheard it to, I've got a very important meeting. Of course I didn't say I've got a very important meeting. I'm meeting you. I'm emba- I know that you're going to turn up. How embarrassing would it be if I said I've got an important meeting and you turn up? Well, that's exactly what happened. Exactly. And very embarrassing. I would never do that. I would, but, you, but you did. I didn't. I said I'm meeting someone. No, no. Like You're going, oh, I've got a very important, but like I think he's. Pro- I think it's uh, somewhere in the middle. I think the barista has misheard him. And he's what he said is, I've got a very important person. It's a big fat gay mong off TikTok coming, you know. I mean, that does sound like something I would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, uh, I believe the barista. I think Tom said he had a very important meeting, like a little bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I, did I would have been there on time to verify it, but I was five minutes late. Unfortunately, a tree fell over and police were everywhere. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just two different departments trying to argue over whose crime it was. Yeah. There was more to the sketch. Then. It was, I, you, mean, you, like I did they, sell you on the idea at the there's, end. There's, you a, did. There's, a, there's already too much to it, is what I would say. There's already... My problem with the tree police versus the gradient office or whatever it was... <laughs> wasn't, gradient squad. Thank you. I don't care. <laughs> my problem wasn't that there wasn't enough stuff in it. I, like, I was like, ah, oh, there's only two <laughs> stupid things to explain. We need more. I, I came with a couple of ideas of my own. And they were fully formed, fully thought out ideas. Mm-hmm. And he came with just one or two words written down. <laughs> some of them were fully formed. <laughs> and some, some of them were, were really just great. words that I'd thought of when it was Yeah, it was like over. going like monkey tennis. It's just that <laughs> stuff, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, sort of. Yeah. It wasn't miles off. It wasn't miles off. <laughs> but then we had, we've got a lot of good ideas, though, that we're going to write up, maybe. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds promising. Yeah. So it was a very important meeting. <laughs> <laughs> The guy's face when he told me, so he funny. lit up. And no, as soon as he said it, I was like, oh, for fuck's sake, That's you great. bellend. That's really good. Uh, much props to that barista. Yeah. yeah. Well done to that guy. I think he knew exactly what he was doing. I think he'd listen to this podcast and he's like, I know fucking. That is wildly arrogant. <laughs> to like a humble, humble man like me would never, would, never, would never assume such a thing. I never claimed to be humble. Like, oh, he's probably a fan. That's why he said that cutting thing about me. He probably is just a massive fan of mine. That's what I think whenever anyone calls me a big fat cunt. Yeah. I can't well, think. I must be the world's biggest fan of you then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get my number one fan badge on Facebook for this shit. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it was uh, it was a very funny moment. What an embarrassing thing to do! Tom. It was very embarrassing when he said it, but that is not. It was true. embarrassing when you said it. It was not embarrassing when I said it. it I did not say it. Do you know what I was thinking about? Uh, the other pasta. Day? <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, raping seven, pasta. Was <gasps> Fusely would be the best for that, mm. or rigatoni because it's a bit bigger. Uh, big penne. <laughs> That's what they call me. <laughs> <laughs> that should be your rap name. Big penne. Big penne. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what about Papa Dali? Yeah. Um, anyway, so here's what I was thinking. Papa Dom. Do you remember? Do you remember when checks were a thing? Well, yeah. like the Czech Republic. No, no, no. Like, like when you had to write a check. Mm-hmm. How did how did that exist? It was so stupid. It yeah. So there what was a ridiculous so way. What you would. Of paying for money. Yeah. I'm going to take a piece of paper. Well, you weren't paying for I'm going to write my name on it. Oh, you yeah. got to the I'm money shop to buy some money. £150 yeah. only, and then sign it, and that is now 150 quid. You just have to trust that I've got it in my account. Well, no, there was actually a, you'd have a check guarantee card, so you would take out an account that would guarantee you up to a certain amount, sort of like an insurance, where uh, if you were putting out uh, fake checks, they'd be able to find you quite easily. 
and uh, it was just the bank a, would just pay for it. It was just such a silly through. time. That's it was so sad. the whole concept of signatures. I think is mental. <laughs> yeah, signatures was mental. It's incredibly easy to forge, and you still have to do them for it was like a, legal things. It's why a mind blowing moment for me was when uh, I saw a, a guy when I was a teenager. I saw a guy who'd signed his name in just block print. It was, that was his signature. It was just <laughs> Tom, and I was like, oh, it can be anything. I was gonna yeah. say, so mine just became Rob. I yeah. just write Rob really fast. I was gonna say, have you ever seen a signature where you look at it and you go, come on. Like, like oh, it's just mine's, literally, yeah. it's just pfft, like that. Mine is ridiculous. It's mine changes every time because, yeah, I, because yeah. I think it's so stupid, I just change it. It's not a yeah. signature then. Well, exactly, yeah. Because I think the whole concept is stupid and that's my little... So that's your rebellion. protest. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show them by never being able to get into my own bank account. <laughs> yeah, signatures are mental. Checks are mental. I, I, I just... I can't believe that we as a society had so much trust. I remember when um, Chip and Pin first came in, I worked at... I blew my fucking mind. I worked at a shop, I worked at Comet, and <laughs> loads of people were going mental saying, well, what if someone could just get my pin and then do it all the time? I was like, yeah, but they could just copy your signature. It's not like a hard thing to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People yeah. were like freaking it out. Was only re- it was only until recently that I realised that they'd taken off the 40 quid limit on contactless. Yeah, yeah. It's, they, did it, they did it in um, lockdown. They yeah, did, yeah. They yeah. put it up to 100, now it's even more. I think it's like 200. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> what do Crazy. you have to say about the, the historic times? I mean, so little. <laughs> I have so little to add to this. It's like, yeah, things were different in the past. Yeah, but do you not just think, like, how did we fucking live like that? No, I think how, how do we live we now? How do we live with checks? Because, like, like, it's so much harder to be poor now. Because, like, when I was, like, dead, dead poor, like, a decade ago, was, like, at my poorest, right? And I was, like, you know, getting by on fucking nothing. You do loads of little fiddles where you would like, uh, you you pay one thing and then in the time before it clears, you use that money to pay something oh, else yeah. as well. Then it bounces and stuff like this, or you could do stuff like even like uh, it's changed now when you do the petrol where you put your card in. You used to be able to like fill up and then it'd charge you a couple of days later. So if I was skin, I'd just fill me fucking tank. Then a couple of days later, it'd just be a problem then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like now, it already pre-charges you and stuff, so you can't do that. And like, There's loads of little ways that they've tightened the net and all these things I used to do where I'd just like, yeah, I'd like uh, pay something now that, uh, online and know it'd go out in three days, then we'd draw all my cash so I'd have it so I could spend it. And yeah. Stuff like that. You know, like you just, there's loads of shit you can't do now. This is such a Yorkshireman's way of looking at... It's not Yorkshireman, it was like broke. I was like, I, I literally had to do that or I wasn't eating sort of thing. That's why you know? food banks exist. Yeah, there weren't as much of a thing back then. Yeah, like, well, I looked into it. I couldn't find taken one. You should have taken your like, humble ass to no, the like, food I, bank. I, I gen- <laughs> hey, that's the most humble place going. Yeah, oh, now no, I'm more humble. There's no, there's no ego in a food bank. I'd love to turn up <laughs> a food bank in a fur coat with a cigar, <laughs> like a cane with a big diamond on Have it. Have you got any caviar? Yeah. It's like <laughs> struggling a bit. Brand names only. Don't fuck me. Two bottles of champers, please, love. <laughs> this bread is out of date tomorrow. What are you trying to do? Yeah. yeah. Fucking hell. Have you got any thick slice? I'm <laughs> fucking povo. <laughs> uh, yeah. But yeah, like, you know, it was a it was a different side, wasn't it? But people did just do loads of check fraud. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. There's that thing in America where they get like cash checks that I don't really understand. Is that like basically yeah. they, someone will just pay them instantly rather than Well, I used to do in. that. I used to do that. They used to do that cash converters in yeah. Western Utes. So I used to work in a call centre and the boss was dodgy as fuck. Uh what was he fucking called? Marcelo, maybe? All right. Marcella. Um, yeah, what was his fucking wife called? No, his wife was called Marcella. What was he called? It doesn't matter what he's called. He was called something. No one knows him. Why are we spending <laughs> time working out the name of some cunt you knew 10 also, years ago? Also, if she's called Marcella in Preston, I think some people are going to yeah, be able to identify it. Yeah, you've narrowed it down. <laughs> <laughs> so I used to work for a call centre called Mobile Interiors. Yeah. And it was just basically selling kitchens for right. people. So I used to work at Space Kitchens. And then I moved Space over. Space Kitchens. That's yeah, a sketch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, me peeler's floating away, man. <laughs> um, and then I went to work for Mobile. Today experience. I'm going to cook a protein sachet. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was like a really dodgy call centre. You know the ones where it was like you'd ring old women and you'd be like, hey, uh, um, w- w- guess what? Uh, we've got designers that are in your area at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, we want to come around and do a free plan and design for you. How old's your kitchen? And they're like, oh, six years. Six years? 
Oh, you've, not, still... you've not had a brand new kitchen in six years, mm. you stupid old horse. Um, <laughs> <laughs> come on. Yeah, I used to work in a call centre where on the first day of training, they were like, look, right, number one thing we've got to impress on you, you cannot lie. You have to tell the truth. Next slide was, here's how we tell the truth. Yeah. <laughs> yes. it, was like, it was like, oh, yeah. right, yeah. yeah. It's like, We're um, very technically telling the truth. It's like the Lionel Hutz thing, isn't it, in yeah, The yeah, Simpsons, yeah. when he's a real estate broker and he goes, there's the truth yeah. and the truth. Yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. like... It was totally that. Yeah, so yeah. he, um, uh, I used to work there, and what he'd do is he'd pay everybody in check, uh, and then some of them would bounce. So what you'd do is you'd go to cash converters, and then you'd, like, cash the check, but then they'd take 10%. But then it's like, fuck it, at least I've got it. Right. So you're getting underpaid by 10% every week just to ensure you got paid like a woman. <laughs> <laughs> fuck me. But yeah, that was the story. What? What? I'm trying to think of the worst job that I ever had. Like in my whole life, because I've had like about thirty jobs. Yeah, oh. Selling gas and electric for me was that was right up there when shit. I did that. That's I, fucking I, awful. Yeah, I hated that. I did it like business to business stuff, but like it wasn't like it wasn't even like businesses I was getting. I was like, this is just someone's house. This is just a plumber. This isn't like yeah, a proper yeah. business. Yeah, yeah. I think the worst awful. one was when I sold advertising space in a magazine, <laughs> and the magazine was like so. There was different magazines that would go out to like. Um, different trades and stuff so like for example he just did the gay ones <laughs> so he's so just selling sauna adverts because he's gay so example there'd be one that went out to loads of schools and it was like a wasn't mag allowed to be on that one was, <laughs> he had to be 100 yards away from that office it was like a magazine in the sense of like it it, it had a few articles in it but 90 percent of it was fucking ads and shit mm -hmm. and you'd ring up and be like hi uh, i've noticed that you have a business that sells pencils do you want to add uh, an advert in our school thing and they'd be like no oh, these these things sell themselves <laughs> yeah. they'd be like no no i don't want that at all and you go you sure because like it's pr pretty good it goes out to like ten thousand schools and they're like no because i get this phone call five or six times a day like yeah. no yeah. go away and you go oh, all right then and then you put a note on the file saying called 31st of jan or whatever call center jobs are super call back yeah. any on. sales job any any yeah. job where you're trying to convince people to do something that they they, they don't want to do yeah I've supermarket jobs are shite fucking yeah. working as a delivery driver for a fucking super that's a wank job yeah. that's fucking I, I shit i think i'd enjoy that just driving around nah, all day. Nah, 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 nah. this that's, is a podcast that's the <laughs> that's literally you're not pootling it's so stressful oh, yeah. it's like you your time is down to the fucking second so yeah, oh, yeah. so 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 first you time down to the second and also as well you don't just get to leave your shift like when it's like you don't get to be like oh 5 p.m. back to the office for me and I'm got you've got to deliver everything basically yeah. so you're yeah. you're timed and also it's timed to the point where any fucking any traffic any delays anything like that your whole day you're spot. you're working overtime so not only are you stuck in traffic you're also working overtime uh, like it's yeah, fucking yeah. shit but also as well it is a mad physical job it's, it's mad yeah. no 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 like i'm talking it is it's a really physical job I used to deliver some beds. That's a very physical job. That's what? fucking well hard. You used to deliver some beds. Yeah, yeah, into people's houses as well. So like, as opposed to what? As opposed sun to sun centers. Oh right, okay. Where well, they have some beds. I thought you meant like <laughs> like tanning shops. Just, yeah, yeah. I thought you meant just like people just on the go, just ringing up like Uber, like Uber Eats or something. Getting a mobile sun bed. <laughs> yeah, you rock up. I'll tell yeah. you what, that is quite a good business, right? You put one of them in the back of a hearse, right? You could drive around with that. Like an ice cream man. Yeah. That's not a bad idea. It's actually not bad, is it? Mobile tanning bed. Yeah. Mobile tanning. Yeah. Tan taxi. Play the theme tune from The Only Way is Essex over the music. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Turn up at call centres, but there's loads of women in call yeah. centres that want that. Down the lunch yeah, hour. Yeah, go, look, instead of getting the bus home, we'll drive you home, you get in the tanning bed, mm -hmm. and then by the time you... And call it tanner slag. Yeah. Tanner slag. That sounds like an indigestion tablet. Sounds like a right back who plays with Chelsea, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Tanner Slag Ivanovic. <laughs> <laughs> right, go on. Tell us about your sunbeds. So, um, my dad had a sunbed business, and so I would deliver sunbeds for him in a van. In a little it's, a it's a great business, son. You get to see with his tits sometimes. <laughs> your dad had a sunbed business. Yeah, yeah, for a long time. That's one of the gayest things I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah. well, it sounds like this before. It's not one of the gayest things you've ever heard. It is. It's You've not. had a cock in your ear. Yeah. <laughs>
You've heard the sound of a man ejaculating two feet from your face. Go on, carry on. So, it, I mean, there's not really a lot to say, really. I would deliver some beds to people's houses, but if they've got like little terraced houses and they went to the bedroom, it's really hard to get them up because they're fucking well heavy and massive. You've got to get them up the stairs and round and stuff, and it is hard. It's like really hard. Uh, they're very, very heavy some beds. Yeah, they suck. Yeah. yeah. That was the job. I had, like, I had all different kinds of bad jobs. It's oh, like... paving. Have you ever done paving? Mm, I've done that's like, fucking well hard. I've done like I did like paving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah As yeah, in yeah. putting paves down. Yeah. yeah, like big fucking really concrete slabs. Really heavy slabs. Like... You're bending down constantly. It fucks your back. That sounds. You, I did that. Shit. I did that for a shovel week. All the stuff to make that. that's making solid. concrete sides. You got like shovel sand and shit. It's like fucking well hard. Yeah. Like when I was a gardener, like I was like the gardener's assistant basically, and so yeah. I'd get all the shit jobs. So I'd yeah. have to like. Uh, I had one day that I'll never forget where I had to move four tons of gravel up a hill in a wheelbarrow. You know, see, like see, shit like this that. This is the reason that all builders are thick. Uh huh. Because smart people get other jobs. Nah, I would strongly disagree with you. I feel like uh, I from, thick- from hiring trade people recently, I'm the thick one. I went to uni, got in loads of debt, didn't get a degree, and had shit jobs for a decade, right? If I'd have just got a trade, I would have been minted. No, They're no, minted, no. they set their own hours, they've got a well better lifestyle. They choose their own jobs. They choose I their think- own jobs. It's, I wish I was a joiner. Honestly, if I wasn't yeah. doing this now, I would learn joinery. And joinery is not like physically that hard. Nah, I mean, yeah, yeah. There's a bit of physical work here, but it's, it's more like skill based. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay, so I think like a carpenter or yeah. like a, a electrician, fair enough. But then yeah, the ones the that are just are like, I'm a scaffolder. It's scaffolders like, earn shit yeah. loads. You know you're thinking of laborer, laborer, laborer. That shit. But if you get any skill in the trades, if you're a bricklayer, you make a fucking mint. Like making yeah. so much more than Rick people in fucking offices. Brickies are making like hundred grand a year now. Yeah. Like, what? Yeah, yeah, you can earn a shit whoa, load. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can whoa. earn a shit load. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you telling me bricklayers? Yeah. Are making have you tried my, mate, my mate's a bricklayer. He's on hundred grand a year, and he's got a ten-year contract. Yeah, like you cannot hire estate. tradespeople. There is like such a shortfall in them. Mm-hmm. Like it's insane. It's such a fucking Fuck seller's man. market. It's like I basically when I'm getting people around my house, I have to like fucking audition for them. It's crazy. It's like because they're like rammed busy yeah. forever. If they, if they don't get my job, it's like give a fuck. I'm like I'm busy forever. I had yeah. a gu- I had a gutter guy the other day who said, "Can you can you pay me in cash? I've gone over hundred grand this year, and I don't want to pay more tax." Yeah. So he so he's getting more than just what I'm and saying. He fi- and he fixes gutters. These are the smart what people. Are we doing here? Yeah, yeah. Next special, us three Pro- DIY business. Problem is, Freddie, you are functionally retarded. Like yeah, when it yeah. comes to stuff like this. Nah, you but- cannot build shit. You could barely hold a pole still but while I built stuff. You around wouldn't you. turn up. I, and, I, I'd, and I'd be crushed by a I'd single be, brick. I'd be absolutely perfect <laughs> at being a British labourer. I would turn up an hour late, but then I'd do a very good job. <laughs> but, but I, whilst whilst I'm not really... So I'm somebody, my biggest um, sort of weakness when it comes to this kind of it's thing... Is cock. Is that he's I... Gay. I'm very much. <laughs> How is he still making you laugh? How? <laughs> because it's so many times. The more he does it now, the more he's going to make me laugh. It was funny for a bit, and then for a bit, I admit it was like, uh, oh, here's the lull. And now it's back funny yeah. again. I've Stuart lead it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, my biggest problem with stuff like this is that I have a very low boundary of what done means. Yes. In the- no, yeah, that's yeah, very yeah, true. Yeah. You, 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 th- you accept you're finished way early. <laughs> Like, yeah. you, if it's something I don't like, yeah. then I go, as soon as this yeah. could conceivably, possibly yeah. be quantified as being finished, yeah. be I like, will go, it's done. It'd be like, we'd, we'd be working so, on something together. And say so we'd get like, uh, I'd be like, right, you know, say we were doing a little painting and decorating thing together. I'd be like, ah, oh, Fred, can you get the uh, first cut of primer up on that? And he'd get a first cut of primer on, and then he'd go, right, we're finished now, aren't we? And I'd be like, no, there's like five more coats of things to paint. And be like, ah, oh. you'd be genuinely furious. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because for me personally, finished means it just it it's it, it's ended. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want yeah. to see what uh, Freddie thinks finished is, go back and watch some episodes of Piggott. <gasps> The Piggotted <laughs> Studio was the worst podcast studio there has ever been. Speaking of Piggotted. Have you got an actual segue? I've got an actual segue. Oh, my God. Someone sent me this. He forgot day. about it. I forgot yeah. about it. I was going to mention the patient, but yeah. speaking of Piggotted. Rob's Piggotted warning. So, Rob, you've been on Piggotted. Uh, oh, yeah, obviously, because, like, you know, Freddie was very lazy with his booking. So, like, it just you obvi- said something on Piggotted. <laughs> Oh, this I don't like this. I don't like people finding old things I've said on. Don't podcasts. worry, I think you'll like it. <laughs> okay, cool, right. 
Let me so this is this this is. Do you remember what episode of Piggy Girls? Because I was on a few of them. Yeah. It was the one about um the NHS and the um should people should fat people have to pay oh, for help. Oh yeah. So. This was a rough episode for me because uh, it was on with two larger people having yeah. to talk about why being fat was bad. It was really funny. So, yeah. so someone sent me this as Rob's warning for Freddie much before we started them then. But then because like, it's the same you? argument as someone going to you, you need to have a salad and a fucking jog. And if you have a heart condition, I think you should be fixed. But I don't have a heart condition. <laughs> but if, you're going to get something eventually. Mm. If you carry on your lifestyle forever. I don't know, mate. I'm having a sugar-free Red Bull right yeah, there. No. <laughs> Call me fucking Nostradamus. <laughs> Who could have... What a brave <laughs> prediction that was from me back then. A real... Uh, it was a real Leicester win in the Premier League, that one, wasn't it? it was <laughs> Is this you uh, being humble right now? Very humble about my uh, medical excellence. Uh, very funny hearing you going, I haven't got a heart condition. You definitely did. No, I don't let it develop. You would have. You would have then. It, it wasn't like your heart was great no, then. No, I think it developed since this because of all the stress you were put under. Thank from... you. Yeah, the doctor said it develops a couple of days after that. <laughs> a couple of days after all they did. We can pinpoint quite precisely, actually, with modern technology, exactly when your heart started to give up. It's not like it was conceived like yeah, a baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, it happened a couple of days after, after that episode. Days after that, that right. I don't know when it was. Right. Yeah. The funny thing is, he, he did my warning. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't have had your warning. Had it? Yeah, I feel like that's a past of heeded. Right. Um, you, you also did past tense of heed. He did. Yeah. Yeah. So, I feel, like a hum- I feel like a humble person when I pointed that out. Uh, I did, though, so clearly I would. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like, it's very, very funny. The, the, the absolute hubris. To be honest, though, we could make a compilation a month long of you going, I'm fine, I never get ill. I won't get anything. Oh, bah, 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 there was bah. a really funny thing that popped up in my Facebook memories uh, the other day. And it was me moaning that I was so hungover that my teeth hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Who could have foreseen a future problem in your health? Uh, now I can't drink at all. You've had a so d- hungover. You drank my, your teeth out. And you had to take your own tooth out at one point, didn't you? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, yeah. Fuck you, that was torture. That. I'll never do that again. Yeah, good. But thanks for the person who uh, said yeah, that. Yeah, thanks for finding that. I don't know why you're still watching Pigoted. Yeah, Jesus Christ, it was bad at the time. Yeah. I've got... Um, I've got so, yeah, it might end up being appreciated later on, like... Um, like a Van Gogh. Like a what? Why are you saying it like an American? I just fancy it. Van Gogh. Yeah. Because if he says Van Gogh, you will say because yeah. you're gay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Goth, because it rhymes with cock. Yeah, Van Cock. Yeah. 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 So I'm yeah. trying to... Uh, Man Cock, that's what he likes. Yeah. He exactly. was deaf in one ear as well. Yeah. So, well, he wasn't deaf in one ear. I bet he didn't hear great out of it. I know, but well, he didn't have it. Well, exactly, yeah. So you wouldn't say... To a man that only had one ear, you wouldn't go... You're deaf out of that non-existent ear. I'd say you're partially deaf, certainly. Yeah, I bet. I bet he said, "Speaking my good ear." <laughs> <laughs> He's got you there. <laughs> Speaking my good ear. Yeah. This one had a bandage over it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I've got something else to show you, but I can't figure out how to segue into it. Uh, Just don't. Okay. No one needs you to segue. No one wants you to segue. Why don't we set a fire alarm off? Well, sorry. Well, it's called fire alarm. So if we set fire alarm off, that would okay, be a segue. That it. wouldn't be a segue, would it, Tom? You've just said fire alarm. <laughs> All you've done is read out the title. <laughs> that is in no way a segue. But if the we set a fire alarm about? off now, then no, we come that... back and we go, oh, we oh, have to leave for a fire oh, alarm. The fire alarm <laughs> is going off. Speaking of fire alarms, <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you? It's either that or the gradient squad are in town. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. <laughs> oh, gay Dave, where are you? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, right, fire alarm. Oh, ooh, woo, woo, woo. <laughs> yep. Could have loaded it up in any of that time. Uh... <laughs> oh, I have seen I've, this. is one of mine as well. I've, I've seen this fella. Yeah, yeah, I remember yeah. him. Do you want to read it out, Tom? Yeah. Nurse who set off fire alarm to see colleague's breasts bounce as she ran down the corridor is facing the end of his career. <laughs> the I love this guy. Hero. I love this yeah. guy. I might do this to Freddie. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to run. Yeah, that's Did true. you see that yesterday they were uh, taking away Lucy Letby's nurse's license? I know. Poor girl. I'm going to start a petition. Yeah. What's she ever done? <laughs> it's like, oh, what? It could happen to anyone, couldn't she, it? You know? she, she can't kill eight babies without uh, being struck off. Typical cancel culture, isn't it? I think, if anything, they should let her be a nurse in like the murder unit. Because that's where she's in the horrible Sorry. prison. Sorry. 
the murder unit. Well, there's lots of murderers what around. What part it? of a hospital do you think that is? It's just that's the green. She's got a gynecology or murder. <laughs> no, she's in the hospital. She's in a prison now. Right. At a high security prison. Do you also think there is a murder wing? Do you think they get segregated by crime? There should be. Right. And she should be the nurse of it. The nurse of the murder wing. Yeah, and then if she happens to murder one of the murderers, everyone's like, ah, it's fine. Right. So let a nurse there. Just not with any nice people. Yeah. No babies. Yeah. I don't think there's many babies in the murder unit. Right. So you're now advocating <laughs> that rather than a death penalty, what we have is there's no like jurisdiction or accountability or whatever. We just let serial killers loose into the prison and that'll solve the prison over. Not let them loose. Not let them loose. Have a, a nurse. If, you're a nurse in... if you are letting Lucy let be nurse, that is letting her loose. That's where she goes. Oh, that's her thing. There's also a chef yeah. who poisons it's people. Like, oh, I'll just let Jeffrey Dahmer do some cooking. I like, yeah, have exactly. absolutely no problem, by the way, with getting rid of the death penalty and instead having. We like... don't have a death penalty. Uh, yeah, we're good. Yeah. Well, so, let's get one, good. get uh, rid of it, yeah, and then yeah, this. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, gladiators. Yeah. Judge that up a bit, right? Yeah, and do it for murderers. So the right. winner, I think that's the opposite of judging it up. I think that's judging it down. What do you mean? But it's less glamorous, isn't it? Murderers are less glamorous than muscle bound hunks. No, because you put them in like trunks and that. Yeah, yeah, but like when when did the last time you see a sexy muscle bound murderer? Um, we'll let, we'll put a gym in there. Uh, Dale Cregan. Mm-hmm. So. Um, he was good looking. Yeah. Well, he couldn't really see out of one eye, couldn't he? I would he say see out of one eye. the Van Gogh of murder. Can we get up a picture of uh, <laughs> Lucy Letby and Jet and see which one is fitter, please? <laughs> yeah, but she's been practicing for ages. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. Well, we'll give but, them time. But I'm saying you, you give all the murderers different events, yeah. and the winner gets to their freedom. Yeah. But these are events that are like. You, 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 fraught you're, with perils. You're pitching a fucking Korean movie. Yeah, yeah, doing, yeah. I, 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 but I think that I'd, I'd be happy with that. And if you were a murderer that was life in prison, well, why would you? I have? don't think we should get this. Give the scariest murderer yeah. freedom. Yeah, and like, who <laughs> thinks the scariest will win? Because it's like a murder competition. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> the right, best right, right, right. Gets you get to your be freedom. Free. You get your freedom, but we get a tracker and we put that in your ad. Right, that's just being on tag. I don't know why he tried to put it in his head. Just put a tag on him. That's no, what no, people do. That's t- just being released from prison. That's already what they do. Because they'll take the tag off. I love how he's like... Yeah, it'd be easy with Dale Cregan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way he's like, oh, I'd be fine with it. Like, that's a measure of anything. Like, if you could afford it, you'd be one of the rich people in Squid Game. Oh, with I'd, a fucking leopard I, mask on. I, I, I would definitely watch a show where real life people were competing to like live or die. Yeah, yeah oh, definitely. Everyone would watch that. Wasn't there, I think, was it like Holland or something where they were going to have a, it, it got cancelled before it went to air, but they were going to do a, a show where essentially people would be competing for a kidney. <laughs> 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 that is high stakes entertainment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah but the people that compete for kidney, they're not going to be very physically fit. No. So. No, but I think it was more like a popularity contest. It's like, I tell you what I fucking hate related to this, right? You know when you leave Tesco and they've got that thing with three charities and you better put a coin in to choose which one? Oh, I never do How any. About, I never do any. How about you fucking choose? Or do all of them. Why are you making me do a Sophie's Choice on the way out? You're a multi-billion pound company. Do you know what? Can we, can, can we go I'm... back to the kidney thing? The kidney show would be brilliant if none of them needed a kidney. Right, they just win a kidney. <laughs> they win a kidney to sell, yeah, yeah. and they get to decide who has the kidney. They're just playing hacky sack with it at the yeah. end. <laughs> that would be so much fun. I think it'd be better if they were, like, terminally ill. Well, no, because that'd be they, boring. They'd they they be, like, yeah. struggling and stuff. Exactly. You know, see, they'll never make it up the Travelator. <laughs> <laughs> No, you just throw the kidney on the travelator and they stand at the top with a <laughs> hole opening up. Oh, it's like in. hole in the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. <laughs> hole in the body, it's called. Like various organs are on bits of string. And they float towards them while Dale Winton goes, Oh, get it in your uterus. The grand, the final round is yeah. like there's only one person left and they get the kidney, but they have to sew it in themselves. <laughs> sew it in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. As in... Yeah, but a doctor connects everything up, right? Yeah, you've they got don't to do just, that. They don't just get a kidney. Everything just, just, I love you making it sound like a fucking plumber's coming round. <laughs> yeah, they've got well, to not the money they're fucking on. Yeah, Jesus exactly. Christ. Yeah, yeah making yeah. doctors look like scrubs. <laughs> they got to, all right, they've got to surgically insert it themselves. Right, okay. That's the final round. No, I think that it gets surgically inserted, but they just have to sew themselves up. I think that's... 
Because you can sew yourself up, I imagine. Yeah. But, you, but nobody could fucking just put a kid in. Someone, um, he was a surgeon, I think he was last in like the Arctic or something, and he did, he took his own appendix out like while he was awake. Yeah. Because he knew how to do it, and he was like in incredible agony, but he knew if he didn't, he would die. So he just did it himself, this Russian guy. Yeah. That's crazy. Man. Wow. It's pretty crazy. Also, once a man sucked himself off. It's a true story. <laughs> it did. It was a gay man, he sucked himself off. Um, keep losing weight there's a little uh, incentive for you Freddy <laughs> oh my Fuck you're you. also going to need a, a dick extension but you know <laughs> I honestly I can't wait to it put is. weight back it's on on the BBC yeah no, we, no I, d- I didn't doubt you yeah no I just wasn't interested <laughs> yeah just, just, just bought it. <laughs> I really don't care about stuff that happened in like 1927 or whatever do you know what right. I mean like I'm not asked. Dixie Dean can shove it up his ass exactly yeah. exactly Babe Ruth or whatever I'm not bothered yeah. You've won no World Cups, Uruguay. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's Can we go back onto that story that was uh, that? earlier? Yeah. Oh yeah, the nurse. Yeah, go on. A senior nurse who set off an emergency alarm on the ward so we could watch a colleague's breast bounce as she ran down the corridor, faces being struck off. Oh, him as well. First Lucy Letby. Now this guy. <laughs> We've got no good nurses left. <laughs> What's his name? Aaron Kibadja. Was manager on the dementia ward at the. High- oh. <laughs> if you are a pervert, that's a good place to do it. Best ward to be on. Yeah, you yeah, could yeah. just like. No, 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 no. No, because you can moat about a granny, and then when she goes, he rubbed his face in my tits. We're like, get no, back no, no, in no, your no, ward. No, 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 because because look, like I'm a pervert, but I wouldn't fuck grannies because they're gross. You're not that kind of pervert. Though. Exactly. So he yeah, but he might be that, be that kind. kind of- yeah, but all right. If you are a granny pervert, exactly. the dementia ward's perfect. But if you're just a regular old Joe pervert... No, but if you're a real proper pervert and you really get off on, like, fucked up shit, yeah. like, gro- yeah, groping dementia grannies is pretty If you're just a normal one, like, <laughs> sore fanny unit. Some of them get well dirty dementia people as well. Do they? Yeah, they get, like, hypersexual, some of them. Get off. Yeah. Is that really true? Yeah. I never knew that. Uh, like, yeah, they just start shagging everyone. Yeah. Just like, like yeah. oh, shit on me face. Yeah. Well, they just forget they've already been ploughed, innit? <laughs> So go on, yeah. Aaron Kabadja. Yeah. Uh, Pound Hog Day. <laughs> go on. In 2012, Kabadja pulled the alarm when there was no emergency and simulated breast bouncing with his hands as his panicked coll- colleague dashed down the hallway. That's really Wait, funny. So he the rest simulated... of the story is behind a paywall, but we've got enough. So he simulated it. So he's, done, he's been a proper lad. So basically what he's got is he's pulled the alarm, then he's gone to one of his mates, winked and gone. That's fucking great. That's what a lad, because he's not just done it for himself, he's done it for the boys. That's a guy who's helping out the lads. Do you know what? There might be some granddads on there that yeah. are like, just before I die. Yeah, exactly. He's doing a kind oh, thing. I want to see some titties. I need to, in order to judge the severity of this case, I need to see the tits in question. Yeah. I yeah. need to see what we're dealing with How here. How bouncy were they? Did it, it seemed like it worked. Yeah, like we might be in an exceptional case where you're like, obviously it's not good behaviour no yeah, matter yeah, what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, it might be like, okay, yeah, you know, I understand what's happened there. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm with him. I'm with him, actually, I think. I yeah. think that if you're creative enough yeah. to come up with that as a solution, <laughs> sometimes as well, right? He's I a real artist, this I guy. I don't know about you, but, like, as a man, sometimes when I've got the horn... A gay man. When I've got the fucking horn, I'm a real pervert. So what I do to just sort you of... Set off the, they set off there, everyone take the pants off a laugh. <laughs> But what I do is... Yeah. He sets off his alarm when he sees a man in grey sweat. Yes. <laughs> oh, glory hole alarm again, is it? <laughs> what I do is I, I make sure that I wank regularly or the so, man that, so that I am well dead. fucking drained of any impulses and urges. This guy might... It might be an extenuating circumstances. If he's not had a... If I hadn't had a wank in three days, I'd do this. Uh, three, you're three days away from sexual harassment at all Mate, times. I'm four away from sexual assault. <laughs> I think his only mistake here yeah. was... I'm, I'm was, honestly, I'm a week away from fucking corpses. That's... Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. I've seen some of the women you've been out with, your corpse would have been an upgrade. <laughs> well, I think his only mistake... The only thing about not fucking a corpse that I can't get on board with is it's hard to find day labourers to do the digging. 
<laughs> it's not going to dig them up himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the rates that they charge these, I'm like, fuck me. By the time it turned up. Yeah, you have to go through loads of it. 200 a day just to dig a hole where a body is. Yeah, and like, what section of checker trade do you put it on? <laughs> Two weeks, it'll be decomposed by then. Yeah. So, Tom, please tell us what his only mistake was in the this hand series thing. of crime. The hand now, thing. Also, uh, if people see you pulling a fire alarm, that's also not okay. You're not allowed to just pull a fire alarm. You've got to do that secretly. Also, I but would... if he hadn't gone, they wouldn't have known that it was for so he could see the tip. He could have gone, oh, I just thought there was a fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, her pussy. also <laughs> I, would, I will say this about perverts as well, yeah. is that they very much live and die by we, the code. We, not they. Right. We very much live and die by the code in that there's nobody who is a pervert on Monday and is lovely Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Mm-hmm. Like, perverts are this perverts. This guy's full time. Yeah. yeah so yeah. there's no way that this guy just did this this one time and everyone was like, oh, Aaron? Aaron Kabadja? Yeah. No. Yeah. Like, everyone, when a pervert gets caught, everyone's like, yeah, they're a pervert. I bet he was walking in the morning like, you know, just like, ah, ah, at them. Yeah. yeah. Every time he turns up to work, it sounds like a stray dog's been let into the hospital. Yeah. yeah. But you know, it is, it is a relatively creative way to be a pervert. Uh, the fire, pulling a fire alarm in a hospital, not a great move. Right, yeah, I would yeah, say yeah. the collateral damage from you just getting to see some tits wobble a bit. Yeah. Maybe just go, oh, come quickly in here. A patient needs your help. I bet a fire alarm I, in a dementia one. I bet that was well. hilarious. Yeah. I bet that was such a I'm funny moment. Am I being moment. bombed? <laughs> and the Germans back? <laughs> I bet that was such a funny five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> just all these dementia people pissing themselves, dribbling out. And also, I bet she didn't run much because you'd have to just like slowly walk the dementia patients out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no, yeah, she why might... shit nurse if she's running off? Yeah, yeah she just legs it, <laughs> jumps out of a window. <laughs> no, but she might have done that girl run. You know, sometimes when they run and they're not actually going any faster than if you were just walking yeah. with purpose. Yeah, hopping up and down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, see yeah. a lot of them running for printers like that, running towards printers in offices. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So there you go. If you want to see some tits, the fire alarm is your friend. Yeah. That's the end of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> smooth. So smooth. Speaking um, of Michael Owen. <laughs> if, if you've enjoyed today's episode, then that's the end of it. It's, <laughs> it's now uh, no longer an episode. This is it. It's ceasing to be. Yeah. And if you've enjoyed it and you would like some more, go on patreon.com forward slash dead men talk pod where you can have more because we've made it and we put it up there and you can subscribe and then you can watch it. Three quid a month. That's how much Seven it is. Seven day free trial because we're so confident you'll love it. Yeah. Slash forget. So I'll click free membership, by the way. That's not the same, but you can't actually watch anything. Get a free trial and you can watch everything. You're, you're totally in then. Sure. Uh, also, uh, my special is out. Get that watched. It's on the channel now. Uh, we've got a festival next year called Dead Meat. It's going to be fucking sick. Uh, get your tickets now. It is selling well. We've got a dead good lineup. About um, a third of them have gone. Fucking hell. We can say some of the lineup now as well. We oh, yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. We'll just head over to uh, at Dead Meat Festival on Instagram and they're yeah. all on there. But, or our website. Uh, uh, Jamie Hutchinson's doing it, Dan Nightingale's doing it, Cunt and the Gang's doing it, Bobby Murr, Red Richardson, and a woman. Because um, <laughs> you have to now. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. yeah. She's in the token worry. stage. Don't worry, though. When she's on stage, we're going to be pulling the fire alarm if you catch our drift. <laughs> hey? Oh, not with Don't Patty. Worry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I really like you and my friend. <laughs> <laughs> There was no need for that. <laughs> Absolutely no need. Uh, is there anything else we need to tell her before we go? No. I, <laughs> there was no need, but I had to get in there before Freddie did because you were yeah, definitely yeah, making yeah, the yeah. same. <laughs> yeah, but I just thought it didn't say because I'm a true friend. Yeah, we all thought well, it. You're a very humble man, aren't you? Yeah. Very, very humble. Very dude. humble gay man. <laughs> so we'll <laughs> see you next time. Thanks Fuck for listening. Off. Fuck off. Dead. 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 Dead.